you this gorgeous day. It's sunny, it's beautiful, it's bright, it's clear. I am dreaming. <laughs> I am dreaming. It is miserable, muggy, yucky. But, but we need the rain. We but, need the rain. But, 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 thank goodness the storms are gone. Oh, but the, the storms are gone. Our thoughts and love to the people of South Georgia. Oh that gosh. is just, and, I and, watched and that last night. Hattiesburg, Mississippi, what Oh, a beautiful and across town. through there in Florida. But the devastation in it's Georgia crazy. and the number of deaths is just unbelievable yeah. how what has happened to all of our friends and loved ones down there. So if you've got someone down there, our thoughts and prayers are with you today. You know, I love when the media says Albany because they don't know how to say Albany. 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 And I'm like, no, Bubba, it's Albany. Albany. And we have declared we are They've officially the Jimmy. white... Diamond and silk. Yes. Is that cool? We can be as, Ex as mean whatever we and want, evil to be, we want to be. Completely. You know what happens when you get our age? You just don't care. You can you do anything care. you want to do. It's like I wore my colors today, guys. I you know, wore my colors. We used to worry about our hair. We used to worry about this. We used to worry no. about that. You get up, you throw on a Falcons T-shirt, and you are cool and good to go. We I love need it. to. We need to do this. Tom Brady does Super not. Bowl. Tom Brady does not need a fifth Super Bowl ring. We no, need to just send not. him back to where he came from. No, he does it's not. It's going to be Matt Ryan's. I'm telling you, I could not believe it's the game that exciting, Julio Jones. Played uh, Sunu Jr. They just unbelievable. When they went into halftime awesome. at twenty-three to nothing, awesome. I thought, "Don't get excited! Don't no, get excited!" No, because excited. Green Bay, uh -uh. Green Bay's strong team, and Aaron Rodgers has a great arm. But they just could not get it together I yesterday. It. I so here it. I am, a single woman sitting in my house, screaming at the TV. <laughs> on a football game. So for those of you who didn't watch I the game, your shirt. <laughs> you missed it. So, oh, I had to go out last night and get me a good one. I but love oh, it. oh, I the, love oh it. yeah. I it's love going it. to be a tough game in Houston, but I tell you, I think the the Falcons this could but be their year. But you're right. The Patriots have had their day. They've had their over day. And had over their time. and over and over and over and over again. It is time for Atlanta to truly again. rise up. Yeah. It when you look at, at at New England going into it for the fifth time and Atlanta going into it for the second, second time, time only. And I think that it's just very important. So we've all got to send those good vibes to those football well, you know, players. Sometimes and we criticize Arthur Blank for he's done this and he's done this and he's done this. He has held on and he has been allowing them to build this team that is the best, the strongest, amazing, amazing guys. They just coeced. It's just they're like you, brothers. Well, that's the it's the brotherhood. It's yeah, the brotherhood, yeah. and they will rise up and they have they risen up. And again, I this co congratulations. Yes. Yeah, yes. I had a chance to go to the game and didn't want to go to Atlanta yeah. and all of that mess yeah. to have to come back home. And yeah. I was really kind of sorry last night that I didn't go. But they said I, the noise there was mind They said it took the lid yeah. off of yeah. the dome. Yeah. And, the, you know, when we think about it in our lifetime, we survived the Omni going down. We survived. And I there was something that. there before the Omni, too. What was it? The World Congress something, something, something. There was something I don't know, but there. I saw Elvis at the Omni, so that, yeah. was, that was a monument. That was in the 60s. So it's, Thanks. It's a, <laughs> at least I didn't say the 40s. <laughs> but it is amazing to me that this, this was the last showdown at this beautiful facility. And to do what they did, the way they did it, I was just so very, very, yeah. very proud. They were kind of teasing us a little bit with that big lead because you don't feel comfortable. You no, you don't ever rejoice because no. things are said in locker rooms and teams yes. come back out with, yes. a, with a fire yes. burning yes. in their bellies. But that and fire Green came Bay, out. God love them. They couldn't even get here to play the game. They were trying, they bless their hearts, to be delayed like that, which, yeah. you know, had to put the Falcons a little bit at edge because you get psyched to a point. And yeah. it's hard to maintain yeah. that momentum. They? Yeah. And to know that they were, you know, rerouted to Nashville and everywhere else. They were rerouted before they could even get them in. Has but there then ever my been theory a playoff is, game that people couldn't get there? I don't know. But that my theory is they should have planned a little better. They knew this weather yes. was coming and yes. they should have gotten their yeah. little hineys they down knew here. They, a needed, to be they in needed to be here a little sooner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But no, I think yeah. it's just it's 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 a remarkable time, and I look forward to it with great anticipation. The best thing about this game was the aftermath of the Green Bay Packers fans saying, "Go Atlanta!" We're vote. We're we're we cheering for Atlanta, Atlanta our region. I love we're that. we're yeah. we're cheering for Atlanta. That was cool. So Green Bay is a classy team. Mm -hmm. The coach was a classy yeah. coach. Yeah. The quarterback. I could be a Packers fan. It wouldn't be. Well, hard, I've been. A, I've rooted for the Packers yeah. over some other teams. Right now, though, it's just it's it's my Falcons and and I'm not going to root for birds. anybody. Remember the Dirty Birds, years the years yeah. we oh had gosh. all of that. Yeah. 
they've been through a lot. They've had some games that it looked like they just didn't even show up for. But the season they've had this year, and when Matt Ryan ran that that touchdown Is he in not himself, cool? that Is was he not cool? it was like the it just opened up and gave him an, an, an alley yeah, to go yeah, through there. Yeah. But it was a remarkable game, and I think Atlanta made a good decision not to go for the 58 foot, 58 yard field goal, goal. Yeah. for three points when yeah. they were so far in the lead anyway. Yeah. It yeah. could have given the ball to, yeah. to Green Bay in a way we didn't could've want them to have. And it could have It could have led to something else. So we've got a good coach in there now, and, and I think everybody just needs to rally behind and let's all rise up for the brotherhood and it's going to be really be cool. Together. It's going to be cool. It's going and, to be know, great. And, you know, one of the things that's going to be great on Super Bowl Day is people share a lot of really cool recipes. And today, in honor of you bringing me to Atlanta, the last time I was in Atlanta, you took me to the Fox, and I fought and kicked and cussed and We had a good time that we day. We had a blast. We had a great we day. We were with Chef and the Fat Man, and so I want to share one of their recipes, and I want to share my biscuit recipe, and I want to, it's, it's a, a program that features Scotty Mayfield. And a, a Fred had rub. such a good day that we day. We had a fun day. Fred had, had so such a good time that day. And and if you're watching us on Facebook, then you don't get to see the recipes. So the cool thing about having ETC3 services is you get to see everything we're doing. You know, when, when we go off to go back to the heart of the homes, then our viewers on Facebook don't Miss get to out see on what it, our viewers on ETC get to see. Well, are so. you posting any of those recipes on Facebook? I am trying. I am trying really hard. In between real estate things I have a closing today I have a closing in 10 days I have to move it up a little bit I have some things that are going on it's really been busy and we got to get to this we so, might as well get to this it is busy because America feels good today exactly exactly America feels well good. sunshine what are you doing at 3 a.m. I don't know maybe sleeping are you doing something else? maybe, maybe, maybe I don't sleeping know. I, don't know. I, I can't be working know. then you know what happened to me last night I, did it had to do with grease? I was worried. No, I was worried about, I did that too, but I was worried about this stupid thing on my hand. Oh, yes. And I got a Band-Aid to put on it because it was growing very fast again, and I was nervous and worried. I put, I got the Band-Aid out. I took a shower. I was going to let my hand dry good, then put the Band-Aid over. I woke up this morning. Wait a minute. You took a shower? I thought you only bathed. No, I take showers now. I don't have a bathtub anymore. I just have the Taj Mahal shower. Okay. So, so I was taking a shower, and I didn't realize that it came off. I don't know if it came off before the shower, or after the shower, but it's gone. Now it's still inside me, but I feel better not feeling it. So it's kind of weird how the Lord gave me a little peace with it. You know, this. I was thinking about that when you told me about that before we came on the air. It could have been a little tag left from when they did. No, the, it's it been wasn't. It, it came up. It but was you know what? inverted and now it's, it's out again. But it's gone today. It's gone today, and it's you know today. what? It's on that so band aid. Did you take the band aid off? I didn't ever put the band aid on because I was letting it dry good. Yeah. And when I when I went to shower, it was there and it was really bothering me, and that's gone. So I don't know where it went, but Lord, thank you for taking it. And then the doctor, the surgeon, will go in on the seventh and go inside and get the rest of it. And we're going to be done with this, and I'm going to feel good. Okay, about it. all of you listeners out there, we're going to be put, done with it. You put Sherry on your prayer list at all of your churches. You we're going to be done. You with text it. all of your friends to put her on your prayer list for February the seventh because prayers are answered. And we want this woman right. taken care of. It's going to be done. You're in good hands. It's going to be done. I still have my prayer blanket, my prayer quilt from the ladies at Epworth from the first time I had to have my have surgery. Mine. And it's so funny because I'm going to take it with me that day. It's kind of a comfort thing for me. And oh, you know mine how is. my kid gets his blankie? Well, I got my quilty. So I'm going to have that with me. But. But we can all, um, I, I've been nervous about it because to not see it there after they cut it out and then for it to grow back so fast, I was nervous. But then to find it gone this morning, I'm like, I'm really getting confused with this thing. But, but, it, but skin it, cancer but is nothing to play with. At least it's not a melanoma doing nope, that. If that Jesus. were a melanoma doing that, I'd be dragging you to the hospital today. I'd be worried to death. Yeah. yeah. I'd be dragging so you to the hospital. It's just something to be aware of, and I want everybody to be aware of. Now, we got to talk about the inauguration, because this morning I got out a shirt to wear that was the exact color of my beautiful first lady's dress. But it was too cool. When I stepped outside and realized how cold it was, I had to put the blue back and I had to get the teal. But I'm so proud. I am so proud of how are... everything handled, how Melania Trump has 
she speaks five languages. She is well educated. She is beautiful. She is grace. She is like grace. She was absolutely she stunning all day Friday, and and look, she and did, know, and she did it in these heels. heels. <laughs> They're like this. Yeah. I know those roads. We come in here. With I these know old those lady streets. Shoes over here. Yeah. I know those streets. But I have to. But I also have to give kudos to the people that handle security. Yes. Oh yes. Because this crowd of rebel rousers. Yeah, three hundred people acting like Tell me fevers. what what that bakery and Starbucks had to do, and why they Nothing. attacked those windows with stupid. hammers. Stupid. Stupid. Something's stupid. wrong in this country. Can you country. say idiot? You spell idiot. I D I O T. Big letters. Idiot. So. Idiot. Well, you know, I've I've had many an election where my president didn't win, but sure. I acted like oh, an yeah. adult. Oh yeah, I absolutely. But listen, like listen, listen. I got the game plan going on now. See, we got we got it going on. He's been president three or four days. People are screaming at him, acting like heathens, doing the things they're doing. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. I gave the last president eight years of my life, and I gave him a chance. wasn't happy about it. didn't didn't protest. didn't cuss. didn't kick. didn't scream. We didn't, didn't have do an anything option. Negative. We sucked it up, Buttercup, and we dealt with it. And and I think that's the thing that America has to learn. I am a, <clears throat> first of all, I'm a female, I'm very vocal, I am very, I'm all about the right person getting the job, it doesn't matter if it's a man, woman, child, I don't care who it is, if you do the right thing, you get the job. Exactly. Now, um, working in the industry I worked in in Atlanta for a few years, I saw men advance when women were doing the job, and that bothered me. Would I have gone to the march on Saturday as a woman and, her, and for rights? No way, no way would I join with those women. Because they were protesting some stupid craziness Saturday. It was embarrassing. Well, there were some, it was there were some signs of language that didn't need to be there. It was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. Absolutely. And for Madonna to say, yes, many times I've wanted to blow up the White House. I've thought of blowing up. Embarrassing. You know what? It was just a platform for these old, fading, Crazies. former stars. Crazies. Let's face it, she's not what she used to be. <clears throat> to Crazies. be on a platform again and to get her name in the it paper. It was embarrassing. It was very But the whole city of Washington is to be congratulated. And you know, it brought back a lot of memories for me. Now, <gasps> Bob's funeral I was held at St. You know, at, at John's. Yes, very much so. What a beautiful place. Beautiful, beautiful church right there on Lafayette Square across from the White House. But the, the whole city has just blossomed. Do I have an interest in going back to see it? No. Been there, done that. I do want to go to the Tomb of the Unknown. I want to That go is one to of the that. most moving that places so you can. That is beautiful. That's the military, you know, the precision. That goes on 24-7, 365 Every days a year. Every 30 minutes. It does not matter what the weather is. Uh -huh. When the weather is really bad and snow is 20 inches high, they do it every 15 minutes. It's crazy. But still, the beauty and the, pre you know, the precision of what they do and the honor. And you think now with DNA and everything, there will never be another unknown soldier. Yeah, yeah. And to know what <clears throat> that that soldier lying there in that tomb is completely unknown and yeah. will never be known. You know, years ago there was a movement when DNA first came out where some people were trying to get them to open the tomb and see if they could wow. find out who that was. And they said, no, no the sanctity no. has been yeah. sealed yeah. and it will stay sealed. And since the 30s. Since the 30s. You know, we're Completely. talking about 1937 or so. All right, we have some birthdays. I want to take care of them because we want to get to the chef and the fat man. That was a fun day. It that was, was a, a very, very, fun, very day. fun day. Well, Fred was, was deeply enamored, and so was Kevin on meeting Scotty Mayfield. Yes, they were both yes, into that yes. one a lot. And I can say they all left here. It was the chef and the fat man. When they left here, it was the chef and the fatter man. And because the fatter how many man. biscuits did he eat? <laughs> <laughs> about a half a dozen, I think. About a half a dozen. All right. Happy birthday to Gina Longino yesterday. Happy birthday to Jennifer Allgood. Happy birthday to Janae. Um, I think it's Jenny Davis. Happy birthday to Mildred McDaniel. Happy birthday to Sammy Nichols. Happy birthday to George Hamby. To Wendy Lowe and to Erin McRae, happy birthday and a belated birthday. And oh, preacher, are we so sorry. Happy birthday to Pastor Tom Jordan and his beautiful, beautiful wife Priscilla, who celebrated a couple of weeks ago and we blew it. We missed it. So Well, we had the snow and we ice. Can't be we had. Because <laughs> we're just. We, we caught up here. at least, Pastor. Y'all can't fire us, so come on, come on, Dr. Tom. We're sorry we missed it, but happy, happy birthday to each and every one of you. Now, something serious, and I don't, I don't like this subject, but we're going to do it. I have a, a wonderful young friend that has had been in my home since he was a kid. 
visiting with my kids, hanging out. He was a great baseball player. He was a wonderful, wonderful guy who passed away early afternoon Saturday. He was a good, good kid. And you know when you hug somebody and you remember that hug? Every time I saw Daniel Giles, he would run and hug me as hard as he could hug. I will miss those hugs. He passed away Saturday afternoon. His services will be at South Canton Funeral Home down in Canton. Um, visitation begins today and tomorrow. Not sure, can't remember the time for the services, but you can call their line and, and find out. Daniel Goss was so much fun. He smiled, he beamed, he leaves behind a precious son, Seth, that he was so very proud of. And um, it's a very sad time to see somebody that young leave us. Um, I'm going to miss those smiles because when you saw him, he just beamed. And, and that, is, that is very tough to be as young as he was and to have left us. But, but he's gone and he's gone on to a better place with no worries and no sorrow and, and no heartache. So, so anyway, uh, rest well, in peace. Well, I thoughts and prayers to his family. Rest in peace, my buddy Daniel Goss. His birthday would have been this coming Saturday, so he will be celebrating his birthday in heaven. So there you are. All right, we're going to take a commercial break, and we're going to go to the Chef and the Fat Man. We were doing a rub. Now, they make this, do they love call rub. it a love rub? I was going to say a butt rub, but it's a love rub. Now, there's another one out there by that name. Okay, well, it's a love rub, and it had all kinds of goodies in it. And it, They still do it. It was wonderful with these big backbones that we had, and it's a great something to have when you're feeding a bunch of guys for a Super Bowl party. I used some this weekend because on some ribs at my house. guys like a lot of meat. And, and this is just a really good recipe. So I think it's time that we share it with you. And remember, if you're not ETC3 customers, then you won't get to see the recipe. And we're going to just hang out with you here. But if you are, write this down and pay attention because it's just a really good, it's, it's great. And now, can you buy their rub online? How do you purchase their stuff? Chefandfatman.com. There you go. There you go. We'll Kevin Jenkins at, out there. Yep. We'll be back in just a few minutes. I smell something good already. Halibut, fresh halibut. Rounded up the chef and the fat man. Got you back. Scotty Mayfield, you're back. Rings are off. Uh -huh. I'm, make I'm ready to make biscuits. I took off the six carats of diamonds and I'm ready to go. <laughs> now, Chef, you've got a great simple recipe that I learned about in Alaska. Tell me your version. This is real simple. We're going to use some Mayfield sour cream, smear that over the top, and then we're going to top it with Parmesan cheese, throw it into an oven. And the, the key to cooking halibut is to cook it fast, not overcook it? Correct. You never want to overcook it. You know, everybody's always afraid, oh, it's not quite done. There's a right. thing called residual cooking. So when you take mm -hmm. it out of the oven, let mm -hmm. it sit for about five minutes, you're going to get another five to seven degrees temperature rise, right. and that's going to finish cooking. And we have to say, he is an expert, isn't he? Oh, absolutely. He does a cooking <laughs> school, so we have to pay attention to him. You know, y'all can pay attention to me because you know and love and trust me. And you can find this stranger here on the street and you can listen to everything he says because he does run a cooking school. And you teach everything from the very basics from a child's birthday party mm -hmm. to the foo-foo stuff, don't we, you? We do the foo-foo stuff. We do. Yeah, the, I don't like that foo-foo uh, stuff. You know, I'm ah. more into the like, let's get dirty down to basics yeah, like you're, yeah. you're cooking. That's stuff, right. So, That's right. Yeah. And this is so simple. Now tell us again, what are you going to do? This is the halibut you guys caught up in Alaska when you right. up in Alaska. Right. We're going to sprinkle it with some Chef and the Fat. Now we're going to use original love rub on this. Okay. Now that's that looks like a lot, but it's going to be very flavorful. Wow. So we want to cover it all. And you know, some people say they don't like halibut. Halibut does not have a fishy taste. No, halibut's one of the very mild fish. Oh man, you know, it's, it's so right good. up there with like grouper. Mm -hmm. You know, and snapper, not too much. I'm going to take some of this. And for $1,992 a pound, <laughs> you can take your family first class to Alaska and bring back halibut. And I suggest you do fly first class because those planes, you know the commercial where you're sitting there next to the guy that's driving you crazy? Oh, no, go first class to Alaska. It was worth every penny. Oh, right? honey. And, and, and for $1,998 a pound, <laughs> we brought it back to you. So. <laughs> That's good. Now, let me ask you, if you weren't going to use just halibut, there are other fish that you could use this recipe for, Chef Red. Yeah, you, you know, grouper would work, snapper would work, even salmon. Mm -hmm. But even though, and I'm sure you had some of that Alaskan salmon that by no means compares to what we, we had. We made a dip using Mayfield sour cream and, and the fresh salmon. And I have to tell you, probably one of my favorite, everything I've ever eaten in my life, one of my favorite. And I only like salmon patties. I didn't really like the taste of the fresh salmon until we did it with this Mayfield, and we made this wonderful dip. And it was onions, garlic. It was great. It was great. That looks really We've good. got some friends in uh, Vancouver, British uh -huh. Columbia, 
and uh, we were having a surprise birthday party for him, and a friend of his went out that morning, caught a 30-pound salmon. Wow. Fresh. That oil is pretty hot. And then we had... Oh, my goodness. It was like having a steamed vegetable platter. It was absolutely phenomenal. Wow. Wow. You know... Did we almost catch the kitchen on fire? No, 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 no. We're about no, 10 no, degrees no. away. Okay, all right. Well, you know, that was a little nervy, <laughs> but I saw a camera crew going, oh my goodness, call 911. <laughs> you know, you said this stuff was hot as firecrackers. <laughs> it well, is, isn't it? Let, hopefully 911 knows better directions getting here. So all I, want to now, say I have a question. You, you Southern women all think you have the answers that the Yankees don't have. Oh, yeah, okay. we do. Okay, why did you choose this particular fish? Because it doesn't taste fishy. No, just no. for the halibut. Just for the halibut, that's right. Just there we for go. the halibut, there into, you go. Into the oven, now please. we're going to bake it for about 12 minutes. minutes. For about 12 to 14 minutes. Okay. Those are some nice big thick fillets. Okay. And it always helps too when you get it, catch it yourself. I mean, as you're talking to your daughter, she said one of them was 48 pounds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, that was a fight. That was a fight. And she was so funny. You know, that's one of the shows we won the telly for because mm -hmm. Angela prim and proper little girl from Georgia, you know, goes up there fishing. She gets out on this boat with all these guys, and she reels in her own fish. And, and Captain Don told her, it's your job, it's your fish, it's your responsibility, and there you see the end product. We're having we're having her struggle for lunch. So, but it'll be good, won't it? But for $1,998 a pound, that's right. Bogus, it better that's be right. good. We're going to have it for First lunch. class. First class. We're going to have it for lunch. First class fish. That's right. That's right. Now, Scotty, you went to Alaska, didn't you? I did. Did we you had, love it? We really had a great time. It's, yeah. Uh, we, we only saw just a bit of it. But, mm -hmm. uh, Really enjoyed seeing the uh, glaciers, which is incredible. Beautiful. We went to Beautiful. Denali and saw lots of wildlife, mm -hmm. and um, saw one of the dog uh, sled. The Iditarod oh, the Iditarod, places, wonderful. Uh, had a little tour. That was last weekend, actually, in yes, Alaska. It was. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we we really really had a fun time. Well, let me tell you about seeing Denali. I have a beautiful picture that I took in my bedroom. I actually saw this gorgeous view of Denali. The next trip, I took my friend Fran with me, and we got to the place we were staying that was the Denali Princess. There's the view of the mountains, except when we checked in, it wasn't there. So I got in my car, and I drove Fran 240 miles looking for this mountain. <laughs> we come back at midnight that night, and my kids are like, Mom, where have you been? And I said, well, I had to find the Denali to show Fran. And they said, Mom, when you booked the room, it said Denali Princess Suite there was the mountain because sometimes it's covered by the clouds. Right. Uh, I was like, they just move them out? 200 miles. Like, okay, read the mountain over again. <laughs> cool. It's so big it has its own weather system. It does. So it does. about a third of the people that go there never, never get to see, see it. it. Never see it. But my children, wow. let me tell you, I never heard the end of it. They were sitting in rocking chairs on our deck rocking and looking at Denali as Fran and I get out of the car and go, oh my goodness, boy did I feel silly, did I feel silly. Such a beautiful view and I, and I tell everybody, don't plan your life, live your life and hopefully live your life with a trip to Alaska to be included because it is a wonderful place. We'll so have to mark that Kevin and make it a real We have trip. to do that, we have That's to do it. that. Now your Helen's going to cook a little bit, you're going to start frying some chicken mm -hmm. and Scotty's going to stay here with me. You guys go over and work on the fried chicken. Okay. A very simple recipe. Now tell me what your ingredients are. Very simple recipe. This is chicken tenderloins. Okay. And they feel buttermilk for about 36 hours. Nice uh -huh. and tender. Some panko breadcrumbs. Some zesty love rub. And then we're going to start frying it. That's it. Real That's simple, it. Real easy. And I'm going to make biscuits to go with your chicken. Yum. Because what's better than a chicken biscuit? That's right. Can't be any better than that. And we are going to use Mayfield buttermilk. I decided that the buttermilk... Can you make biscuits? Well, I can try. I can tell you the amazing thing to me of watching you make these biscuits is how you just put all this flour in there. I do. And then you put the, the Crisco and the buttermilk in there. And for some reason, the flour just volunteers, and whoever doesn't want to be a part of the biscuits doesn't come along. That's on. right. That's and right. And it works. And, and in Alaska, when I was teaching my host this, I said, you make a whale. And she said, you make a what? And I said, a whale. And she said, a whale? Why do you want a whale in the biscuit? I said, no, Karen, a whale. Don't you know anything about southern cooking? She said, obviously not. <laughs> Now we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to have biscuits ready to go in the oven. Now see that? Isn't that simple? And you know the thing about making biscuits is you know when it feels right. You know when it feel, feels just like it's supposed to, and we've got the Crisco going on. And now we've got the Mayfield going on. And you said Mayfield buttermilk? 
It's something you eat. I love to drink it by the glass. Some people like to cook with it. I'm more of a cooker with it. My cousin loves buttermilk. Oh, he loves man, to drink love it. it. And I give him credit for our buttermilk con being consistent because uh -huh. he's drinking it all the time. And if it gets a little bit off target, he's he's the and first one to know it. black pepper, cornbread, and buttermilk. Yep, can't Now y'all hang around. When we come back, we're going to have some biscuits ready to go in the oven. Chef Fred and Kevin the Batman are going to have us some fried chicken going on. And we're going to have something simply southern. We're going to have some cream gravy too. I think that's mm. going to be a good meal. Hang around, guys. We'll be right back. High-speed Wi-Fi. Not quite as important as running water in your home, but close. Ignite Internet from ETC powers your Wi-Fi network with consistent speeds to keep all your gadgets going strong. Streaming video players, laptops, tablets, even smartphones, so you're never stuck with those big cell data charges. And talk about value. Just pick your speed and keep the Wi-Fi flowing in your home at a great low price. Upgrade your Internet today. Call or visit etcnow.com to learn more. I'm Lauren Smith, the University of Georgia. Today we have John Davis, former Georgia Tech All-American, Frank Ross, captain of the Bulldogs 1980 National Championship team in a Subway showdown. Subway. How many Subways does that Singleton own? He just up with number 17. He started in my hometown of LJ. Yeah, but he graduated from the University of Georgia. Oh. Hey guys, who's hungry? It looks like Subway and Singleton Food Services Incorporated, the winner again. Subway! Fountain Roofing has been providing excellent service for 35 years. Let Lonnie assist you in choosing the roof perfect for your home and your budget. Commercial or residential, he can handle it all. Fountain Roofing continues to provide quality workmanship and will provide references upon request. At Fountain Roofing, we've got you covered. Call Lonnie at 706-692-6997. That's 706-692-6997. In today's changing world, some things should never change. Time-honored, compassionate services are what families have come to know with Roper Funeral Home. Our professional and courteous staff offers traditional services, cremations, as well as advanced funeral planning, which relieves the burden from those we love. Hello, I'm Kevin Roper. If you have any questions about the services we provide, we invite you to give us a call, stop by, or better yet, ask a family who has used our services. We've had Alpha Insurance since our first daughter. And when we had quadruplets, <laughs> we really needed Alpha. Now we need our own insurance with great rates, fast claim service, and a local agent we know. And we want to company our kids and grandkids can trust. <laughs> call Alpha! For the best agents in the business, call Ed Stepp in Blue Ridge. Georgia Medical Treatment Center in Canton specializes in low-level pain management. We provide a holistic approach to treatment, managing knee, back, and joint pain along with migraines, allergies, and medical weight loss through holistic and alternative approaches rather than pharmaceutical treatments. By offering multiple specialties under one roof, including chiropractic care and neuropathy injection treatment, we create the continuity of care that assures positive patient outcomes. So take the first step to a life free of pain. Give us a call or go online today to georgiamtc.com. Hello everybody, my name is Roberto Pereira. I'm a cardiologist practicing at Piedmont Mountainside at Jasper, Georgia. I'd like to invite you to join me as I talk to some very interesting people about health. Sometimes physicians, sometimes nurses, sometimes both. And the name of the program is called Doctor Talk. It airs twice a week at ETC TV. Volunteer and, and the deal is you don't work your dough much. No, that I know. You don't want to overneed your dough. You don't work your, your dough much. Touching. And you, oh yes, they is have that to. A, oh, oh, that's okay. country, honey. Welcome just, to country cooking just, 101. Yes, ma'am. This is country cooking 101. You let them touch and you let them run together, and that's called 26 biscuits every morning for five children and a very happy husband. All right. How about that? There you go. And this is so light. Now I would almost let you put your hands in it. It's very light. And that's the key to these biscuits. And when they get done, you can eat four of them. How about that? That works. You can eat four snack. of them, big boy. That's right. That's right. I still can't you know, get over the voluntary volunteerism of the flour. How, 
Go the whoever way. wants to be in the biscuits jumps in there and the rest right. of it that, waits right. till tomorrow. That's, that's right. right. That's right. You know, Scotty, we're talking about buttermilk. There is a huge difference in buttermilks that I've seen out there. A huge oh, yeah. difference. And it's the, it's once again, it's the quality and the creaminess that makes the whole difference if you're going to be making biscuits. Well, I, I and think these that, are so light. We have a lot of compliments on, on our buttermilk to, to drink it or to cook with it. And, and um, I still give my cousin Rob credit for that because he's the... Buttermilk he, guru. He's a bitter, buttermilk guy, yeah, he really is. Now, have you ever had a buttermilk pie? I have a recipe for a buttermilk I pie. I have. It's yeah, very it's good. It's a good pie. Yeah, it, and it's, it's sweet. I mm -hmm. mean, it, yeah, it is. Kind of like an egg custard almost. Okay, now, you do this, and you go down there, and you put your fingers in it. Nothing says loving, like something from the oven with my fingerprints on it. There you go. <laughs> top Got shelf it. in the oven. Uh, bottom shelf, since the fish is on the top. Now, you know, this is one of those things... I can teach you something simple and basic, and you intimidated me a little bit at first. Why? You use big words. <laughs> Some of my viewers may be intimidated by it, but it all comes down to basic, simple cooking, isn't it? it, it it's basic ingredients, and then you know what? You just add the food to stuff. That's right. Too. But it, you know what? Like watching you make biscuits, it's like the simplest thing in the world. The simplest thing in the world. And it's one of those things I can make 9, 12, 15, 20, 80, whatever I need to make. I can't make six. And on a previous show, I tried to teach a girl who was moving to Alaska to make six biscuits. That was a riot. I could not do it. I've never cooked for just that few people. Now, so. if you make nine biscuits, mm -hmm. have you ever taken half of those and frozen them? No. Okay. I like nobody's to make ever fresh tried biscuits. I well, I understand yeah. that, but if you were, oh, you if you were a small Absolutely. household, you oh, might yeah. try that. Oh, you can. And when we had the restaurant, I would I would do a pan of 88 at a time. And we would we would freeze ten every day. We would make eighty eight on each pan, and they were the large commercial pans. And then we would start the morning with a frozen pan that we let sit out for about twenty minutes. We did do that then, but okay. but you know when you're just Susie Highmaker, um, I just make them fresh every morning. And there's nothing. I mean, you saw how you make your well, and and there is a technique to it. And you this flour that's left over, you I'll sift, sift it, it and, reuse and it. reuse it. Absolutely, just for biscuits. Wrong. For biscuits, yeah, yeah. And, and I actually now, I'm very proud of myself. I own some all-purpose flour. Never did that before. Really? You have really brought me out of my shell. <laughs> now, I got you out of the country, too, <laughs> out of the school, which was a you know, He got me to the Fox Theater the other day. Yes. And I Wasn't have to say, we met some very nice people. Met mm -hmm. some very nice people. And, you know, I did grow up in Atlanta. Yes. Right. And I became sad. a country bumpkin 39 years ago. I was Little Miss Henry Grady High School for many years. And then I left there and ran as fast as I could up here. And I'll never leave here. I, I love it. it. I, I love it. it. Now, when y'all come back up here, do you hate to leave? Do you want to cry when you leave? I do. And I and actually, so I was beautiful. talking. Actually, I, I told my wife, I said, maybe you should talk to Sherry about like a one little one bedroom cabin up here. Oh I would yeah, love it's that. an awesome it's place. Yeah, it's an awesome place. And you know, y'all are going to be here doing your radio show. You're going to be traveling to New Orleans soon. Mm -hmm. Yes, we're going down to French Quarter Festival and. Ooh. We're, Have I, fun. Send we're the me a only, postcard. <laughs> we're only like, I think we're the only non-New Orleanians that have been invited down to yeah. come down because they're going to put 400,000 people in the largest free jazz concert in the world. Ooh, have so it's fun. Gonna, it's, yeah. Bye, y'all. Yeah. I'm going to be here listening to my little inspiration singing to me. So. We're going to need the inspirations when we yeah, get back, yeah, I'm afraid. Yeah, yeah. You've been to New Orleans once, right? one time and left there as fast as I could. <laughs> I am not a city, the traffic, Crowds. you know, going to the Fox the other day, I was, ooh, did not like that. So, and, and one of the things about going back to the city, I remember why I left. One of the reasons I loved living there was Mary Max Tea Room. Mm -hmm. They have pot liquor, collards, and uh, the best cornbread. And, and we did have dinner there the other night. And it brought back some fond memories. Good. I did have some good memories there, and then I remembered how to get on 75 at 14th and get out of town. <laughs> <laughs> you had to get a new set of tires once you got back up north. It was hard to get out of there. I saw 575, and I was just grinning from ear to ear. <laughs> Man, now, Scotty, you live in the country, don't you? I do. I, mean, I live in Athens, Tennessee, and it's a town of about 15,000. And isn't it a wonderful life? It is. We live out on a farm. And, uh -huh. uh, go figure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look out my back, and, and uh, there's not many lights at night. And right, it's very, right. Uh, matter of fact, Sometimes when it's really, really dark and it's overcast, mm -hmm. 
If you don't have a light on outside, you can't get from here to there because wow. you can't see. Oh, yeah. Well, really we're good. a little bit spoiled, guys, because country living is where it's at. I have a saying at the farm that says a day in the country is worth a month in town. And I really feel that way. And I know that um, I'm very fortunate to live the life I live. And uh, my first job in the morning, you know, I go to ETC every morning, and I get on traffic going away from Atlanta, drive about 10 minutes, show up at the studio, have a great job, and um, good life, and I'm very blessed. Yeah. Very blessed. My parents have a farm up in Virginia. It's the same thing at, at uh -huh. night. Yeah. I mean, population 450. Natural Bridge, Virginia. Oh, wow. You don't oh, lock yeah. your doors. That's you true. drive and just wave. Uh -huh. And uh, I just it's nice it. to see the stars and the oh, sunrises yeah. uh -huh. and the right. sunsets. Yeah. It makes you appreciate what we're all about. Yeah. They're coming yeah. They're coming to town. And the last time they came, my, my stepdad was going to the NASA thing in Alabama for a weekend. Of, we got him a weekend to go play an astronaut thing. Mm -hmm. And I said, you need to leave at 5 o'clock in the morning. He goes, no, and I'm like, if you don't leave at 5 o'clock, you may not make it there by noon. Mm -hmm. and I was like, stop. I got it. I said, okay. I left it at that. Traffic. <laughs> he called me at 9. He was on 85 South. Mm -hmm. oh. He'd gone uh -huh. in two hours uh -huh. about six miles. Oh, yeah. He was yeah. just People don't understand the concept. Yeah. He was, and I said, what did I tell you? I don't want to hear it. Uh -huh. He made it's it tough. 15 minutes It's spare. tough. Yeah. He, uh, but you have never seen anything till you've seen the sunrise over the John Hancock building. Oh, I know. It's beautiful. Chicago. It's beautiful. It's I know. I'm going to Chicago. I'm going to go back to Alpharetta and have pizza with you again. Oh, that don't I time, know? It's time for a break. And when we come back, we're going to get biscuits out of the oven. Okay. We're going to get the halibut out of the oven. And we're going to have the quickest, easiest recipe for cream gravy. Are you up for awesome. that? Yes, Absolutely. We'll be right back, guys. Hang around. We're back. Um, you know, this is interesting how we get to do double dipping because we're sharing. What have we said on one and not said on the ETC others? We're three viewers. You get to see the recipes. You get to see the things that we did on Heart of the Home. And I, did, I don't know if I told you about this, but I went back to take pictures this weekend. I had a little bit of time during a real estate showing that I was wasting a little time, and I rode back out to my old house. And I took some pictures. Michelle told me about And I was pretty discouraged it. because... They actually even took out my beautiful Herman Cochran maple kitchen cabinets. No, they were, they did were they really? Gorgeous, beautiful. Nobody does beautiful kitchen cabinets like Herman Cochran. How did, oh, could you see in the window? They took no. My next door neighbor told me. Oh, and I said you have got to be kidding me. It is so weird. What they put in? I don't know. I don't know. Well, now, if neighbors are going to tell, they got to tell the whole story. <laughs> well, come on, guys. Get this whole down. I, I, bet it's a black, I bet it's a black kitchen. I don't know. Don't you think it's every a black kitchen? Every time I would go by, they were taking stuff out and taking stuff out. And I thought, man, they must be gutting the house. And they probably have. But, you know, I did colors that are in the Indian. You the know, Cherokee all, Heritage. All the Cherokee the, Heritage colors. Those were my colors. Not everybody would like those colors. But I chose them because we built on Cherokee property. And I thought, I want to keep the Cherokee buried here as happy as I can possibly keep them. So I used all those colors, and I love the fall colors, and I love the greens. Everybody knows sage green is like an anthem to me. I love that. But, but to see my house that was gray for 10 years. Your house was gorgeous. It's white, trimmed in brown. It's different. And I went, woo! So it is very different. It almost looks like a... I don't know what it looks like. Uh, English, maybe something. I don't know. It wasn't me. But anyway. But my Aunt Louise I'll have to ride it. by and look at You'll that. You'll have to. I'll have, You'll to. have to. I just, one I have person, this vision now. Yeah, that it's weird. Well, one person liked it as white. One person out of everybody who commented on it. But um, to me, the gray was subtle in the, we were in the woods. And that's the gray color you was subtle. Yeah. But, but that this, was one of the things that was so pretty. This you bright, fit, white you ain't did subtle. you did fit in your setting gorgeously that was down the thing. through there. I tried to choose everything that blended in harmony with nature. That bright white and brown does not blend with squat. But it's it was interesting and I you know, I'm glad I went by there. I didn't cry. I was very proud of myself. I didn't cry. I did visit with my little Dosie, the dog that we left for Randy and Paula to take care of because they had raised her for a long time. We were co owners of Dosie. Well it was and I got to spend some time with Dosie and I didn't cry, so I was very proud of myself and um, actually um, when it was over I felt good coming home. I felt good coming home. And that was a really good feeling to know that I've settled exactly where I was meant to be. 
Oh, I, I love where you exactly are now. Well, to as my daughter said, some people choose to look at the world in just black and white, uh -huh, uh -huh. and others choose to look at it in beautiful colors. And yep. you're one of those people that look at it in beautiful colors. Well, it, that it was, was a great a, comment I think that Michelle made. Yeah, because yeah. you can't look at the world in black and white. No, nope, nope. not anymore. You can't. Nope. Well, we've been looking for Nick and Kelly a house for a couple of years, and um, we've looked and looked and looked and looked and looked. And and as a, a 29 year old, 29 years of real estate under my belt. I've seen it all. And and I love when people walk in a house and go, well, it's not exactly what I want, but I love this location. You got to look for the bones. And the location, location, location. And I kept saying the right thing will come along. Well, the right thing came along and it's at Carter's Lake and Nicholas is a really? fisherman. He is a fisherman, 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 fisherman. You walk out your door, you go fishing. That is Nick's Nick Lake. on Carter's Lake. Oh, you, had, a, be you had an escapade one time on Carter's <laughs> yes, Lake. Yes, I did. <laughs> Yes, we I won't did. go there. Maybe one day she'll write I about went it. Jet skiing. Yes, you I went did. jet skiing. <laughs> yes, I did. Head over heels, <laughs> yes, head I did. jet skiing. It'll... But we, and everything came together as it was meant to do. You know, the house isn't perfect. There are some things to deal with. The location is absolutely perfect. So I'm learning. I have three young couples that I'm working with now that I have closings in the next couple of weeks. And every single young couple had different ideas of what they wanted. Not everybody likes, you know, oh, exactly. I like old houses, you like old houses. Oh, yes. Not everybody likes the bones and the character of an old house. I love it. I just see potential. I just Completely. see potential. Look for the bones. You can change things. But, no, it's you got to look where it is. And Carter's Lake location, is so beautiful. Location, and the fact location. that they don't let people build docks or uh -huh, everything, uh -huh. it still just looks so natural around that lake. How far is it you have to be back from the shoreline before you can even put a bench down there? I don't know, but it, it they've they it's maintained a good, it, it so it's, well. It, oh, they've maintained it, it so it's, well. It's, it looks so... It look, it's just wilderness it's, you looking. Know, it's, it's like beautiful. just a few miles from Don and Lonnie. That's going to be great. It's it's somewhere that kids can hang out and play. They have a big, beautiful deck overlooking everything. It's just it's fantastic, and it, it was meant to be. It was in his time because, trust me, I don't know how many houses we've looked at, but we've looked at some, and we were right down to the wire on one in Tate, and it was just a little over their budget, and I love that they are budgeting and and really paying attention to what they want to pay. So does that mean you don't get all that leftover woodworking wood for signs? Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> you were looking at one that had some leftover well, woodworking is, this wood. This has some, but I looked and it's wet and rotten because I did look at it yesterday. So. Oh boy. Yeah, but the gentleman who owned it before had a cabinet shop there and he was a wonderful furniture maker. So so it's, it is in his time and we are all learning and watching and listening and it is all in his time, you know. When, when what happened... He is such an outdoorsman. He'll yeah. love being there. He, Absolutely. He, He'll have the turkey happened, and the deer all over the place. Everything that happened and fell apart, I'd go, ah, but that was perfect. But it wasn't in his it time. It wasn't perfect mm -mm. enough. Mm -mm. wasn't perfect mm -mm. enough. No, and no. Nick, is a young, Nick is a young man that I can see where you would want the absolute perfect place for him. But I, I would think Carter's Lake might just be it. A, a shop and the lake. That's all it took. You could have said, son, this house is falling in and falling apart. Didn't matter. But it's got a shop and a lake, mom. <laughs> you know? I know, can so, hear him. Say, I can so, hear Nick so saying Kelly that. So Kelly gets the house and it's so cute. It's country cute. It's just oh, really adorable. country cute. So how we're, adorable. we're really excited. And and we are finding that anything 150000 or less is selling like crazy. So if you're in the market for something 150000 or less, pick up the phone and call me. You know, um, I have one house in Jasper that I really need to get sold. And and um, it's $88,000. It is a fixer-upper, but it has such potential. And you talk about some bones. It's got beautiful, beautiful pecan trees on a corner lot. Ooh. It's just beautiful. But but nobody can get past the things that it has to deal with. It has some cleaning up to do. It has some painting to do. It has some, you know, it has stuff to do. But for $88,000 on a corner lot in Jasper, it's, you know, and, and I love when people walk in and go, oh, that's no problem. I can fix this. I can fix that. Or then you have the people who walk through the front door and go, "Oh no, I'm not interested." Oh, I, I can't. You know? I don't can't stand yeah, this paint I don't like color. That color. I'm not. I don't want anything to do with this. And I'm thinking, <laughs> oh, paints really? a few dollars a can go by. And like you were saying, sometimes you find really great deal on oops. the oops paint. Oops. 
but for these people that won't look beyond the end of their nose, I get it. I want to shake them. Well, I'm vicious about the Oops paint. We were in Canton Home Depot one day, and there were like six cans of Oops paint sitting there, and I was standing behind somebody who was looking at it, and I'm looking, and I'm looking over her, and there's a sage green in it, and I'm like, don't, don't touch that paint. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking evil thoughts, don't you put that paint in your buggy. And she kept asking her husband, well, what do you think about this? He said, well, what would you paint that color? And I was so glad he didn't like that color, because oh, I got great. that color. You, did you get all of it? For nine ninety five a gallon. Oh, so, great. Yeah, it was pretty cool. But it was funny, because I'm standing over there. You have to really catch it when it's there, because it's not there long. It doesn't stay there long. And well, other people are finding out that that's sure. one of the. When you I've been look, doing compa it for compare years. the nine ninety five to what's the cost of a gallon of paint you know now? What Oops used Forty dollars. Oops used to be three dollars a gallon. Well, they're when finding I out. When I first bought it, it was three dollars a gallon. That was twenty five years ago. Twenty, actually twenty eight years ago, at the Kennesaw Home Depot. That was our closest Home Depot. So things have changed, but. But if you're redoing a place and you're looking for a budget and a bargain and, and you know, even check out the thrift stores because sometimes you oh, paint exactly. your house, you have paint left over, you give it to the thrift store. So don't waste Because you, you know what, I, you know what, I never thought about that, but that is an absolute wonderful idea because you can't throw the paint away. No, no. You can't, no. you can't. And often Disposing of it is one of the hardest things gallon, in the world and you buy extra sometimes. And you might use this much of it, yeah. Or so. you wind up. James, bless James's heart, when he painted the house, he kept all the paint. All the paint. Yes. All yeah. the paint. And then one day we had a room full of paint to deal with, and that, that was a nightmare. And what did you do with it? He finally found a, a group of people that, that came and picked it up yeah, and carried yeah, it away. Yeah, yeah. But it was just, it had been sitting there for so long. Yeah, it had been yeah. over across the street in the old store yeah, building. Yeah, yeah. It had been in there for so long that it was just too old to use. It just. Yeah. But if you're if you're remodeling your house, and some keep of it enough. might have even had lead in it, yeah. so you know we yeah. didn't want to didn't right. want to take a chance with that. So we were being very safe. Didn't want the kids to have that. Well, it makes sense if you're painting your house. Keep a little a little jar for repairs. With some or, yeah, yeah. But but then the rest of it share with somebody. Give it to the thrift store, and the thrift store has got a lot of people who want to do spring spring touch ups and fix ups, but they don't have the money to do it. And this is a great way to share with them, so. Okay, now I've been in your kitchen, but now I'm blank as a doornail. What color is it? Celery, which is. It's kind of a, a, a light, light, the lightest light, light, green, light. The lightest green. They used to call that celadon a long well, time ago. It's very light and it's it's very light. And I the love laundry your room is green. I love your house. Green. I love the sitting in there. <laughs> green. <laughs> green. I miss I the green. I miss the walnut tree. Yeah, they're gone. But I, thank goodness because last night during that plunk, storm. Plunk, oh my gosh! Could you imagine what the plunk 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 plunk? I cannot. The wind. At one point, uh, the man across the street from me has two humongous old walnut trees, and I can sit in my living room and I have this huge picture window where I watch the fireworks, uh -huh. you know, shot off in McKaysville. And watching those uh, those walnut trees look like they were just, I thought they were just going to crack. Well, now there were power outages all around Jasper. What about in Fannin? I didn't have anything. I, uh, yeah. One time the cable went off, but the, the utilities, the electricity didn't, but the cable went off, but ETC within just a few minutes, I mean five minutes, had yeah. it back up and yeah. running. Well, there were still roads closed in Jasper this morning. There were a couple oh, of roads I, closed. There was power still out. Well, Jasper's in that tornado alley yes, through there. Yes, we are famous for that. You are yep. famous for yep. that. Yep. I know my daughter was looking at a house down there, and I, I said, you don't want this just because of where it is. Yeah, yeah, and that's a shame, but it's the truth. We are in Tornado Alley, and I'm not sure what it is, but, but southern Alabama and southern Georgia have, just comes have across often like been that. hit. And um, quite often these mountains get hit. But, you know, last night, my sister lives in Orlando, in Claremont, which is just north of Orlando. And I said... Right there on 27. I can't believe they were under tornado warnings for hours. For hours in Florida. Well, they talked about how long, how severe this storm was going to be before it ever got there. Uh, they were really pretty close That was on one the of the things frame. about the group from, from, you know, the Packers. If they'd have listened, they could have gotten here, I uh -huh, think, a little uh -huh. faster. But... Talking about how long the Torcon and the number of what it yeah, was and what crazy. they were expecting. Four to nine it's still just crazy. amazing to look at what what happened. I heard one of the rescuers saying it just looks like a bomb went off yeah, just completely. Yeah. And you know, sadly, if you live in a mobile home, you have to find safety. 
and um, it's, it's so wise to have a storm pit or to have a neighbor that you communicate with and just say, hey, man, could I please come and stay exactly. with you? Exactly. Because tornado warnings are coming. The sad thing about these tornadoes, in Friday night they hit Mississippi, Saturday night they hit Georgia. When, when storms hit in the night, you don't want to inconvenience anybody by saying, could I spend the night with you just in case this tornado comes through? Well, it wasn't just in case on these. The, no, this they, one were right just in a, in case. they were it right in there. an alley. I yeah. would have let, you know, that's, I've got a sofa bed and I've got floor space. And, um, th and that was one of the things they, they just kept saying over and over. If you live in a mobile home, seek safety. If you live in a mobile home, seek safety. It is, it is one of those things. And, and you know, when, when our house got hit or when our business got hit, when Palm Sunday tornado came through, you could still see where our building was. On these mobile home parks down there, you couldn't see anything except debris. So it was it was horrible. So say a prayer for them. We've got one more commercial break we need to take, and we're going to do that right now. So we'll be Jen and I'll be sitting here visiting with you while we take a commercial break. Don't forget if you don't have ETC TV three services, pick up the phone and call, and uh, the number is seven zero six two five three two two seven one. You couldn't find a better cable service. There you go. So, uh, what you doing? I'm, uh, I'm watching TV. TV? Yeah, well, it's really nice outside. With the binoculars. Okay, yeah, so I watch TV off the mirror that goes through the window into the binoculars so I could be, like, outside while I watch. Watch a lot of TV? ETC's TV Everywhere lets you watch TV on your phone, tablet, or computer. Visit etcnow.com to find out more. Gilmer Parks and Recreation invites everyone out to River Park on Highway 5 and LJ. Join the 50-plusers every Wednesday at 9 a.m. for Wednesday Walk in the Park at the Tennis Courts. Free bottled water will be available. Visit our website to find out about our recreational sports programs and rec leagues. You'll also find information on mountain biking and hiking trails, as well as tubing and rafting on the Cartake River, all on GilmerRecreation.com. Gilmer County, a great place to play. Proverbs 426 states, ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Too often investors are looking for instant gratification or some secret formula for success. The prudent, however, have pondered the path of their money, invested with a vision, and based upon a plan that drives the selection of their investments. We believe the prudent approach is to have a strategy and patiently work towards your goals. Give us the opportunity to compete for your business, because at Keiko Wealth Management, the wisdom is in the planning. At Blue Ridge Dermatology, we believe your skin is vital to your health. That's why each of our providers gives personalized treatment recommendations. Let Dr. Mills do a thorough exam. He specializes in all skin conditions. Jamie Savageo is our nurse practitioner who specializes in skin disease. And our physician's assistant, Patrick Martin, is a certified injector for facial rejuvenation. Our certified laser technician, Donna Atosco, performs laser procedures with the latest gold standard equipment. Susan Newton is our medical esthetician. She specializes in chemical peels and skin tightening. Let one of the staff at Blue Ridge Dermatology help you look and feel your best. When Mike leaves town, it's a little scary. You never know who might be outside. But we feel safer inside knowing our home is being monitored by a local company. I can check our alarm from just about anywhere. So when we get home, I know it's safe. Get peace of mind for your family with a local company. Switch your current security monitoring to ETC Security and get six months monitoring free. Call ETC Security now or visit etcsecurity.com to learn more. Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow. Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. I don't over. either, but it just... All right, it is time. I'm picking on him, for, but I just pick on him. This is going to be a, um, an interesting weather week. Right now, we are still 50s. It's going to get we cold We just had again. it. Did you hear the shower I we did. just had? I did. It's going to get cold again at the end of the week. So if you know some elderly folks and you haven't checked on them, make sure that they still have gas in their gas tank, a lot of propane tanks. You get close to the end of season and you tend to run out, check check your fuel source because this weekend is going to be I cold. Did mine, I did mine. Michelle called on mine two weeks ago. And, and it's important because we all kind of got in this little la-la land where it was spring. It's well, when not. you cook with gas, you forget that's coming out of a tank. Yep, yep. You think about your heat and other things. 
but when you cook with it, you don't stop and think that that's coming out of that tank that's too. Right, makes that's a big right. difference. Makes a big difference. Now, do you think winter is really? going to be mild because it looks like we've had a mild one you think we're about done with it you know i don't know i never i never second in it's early not, march we've it's had not, some awful it's not nice to mess with mother nature that's right remember that commercial it's <laughs> that's not right. nice to fool mother nature yeah. i don't know you know they talk a lot about global warming maybe i don't know as much about global warming as i should know or i maybe i should learn a little more about it but I, I know that in this region up here, we've had winter weather into March and April. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm just going to be prepared for whatever God yep, gives us yep. and be glad that I'm still here to experience yep. it. Well, I always love when they say it's going to snow and everybody has to run to the grocery store and get, 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 get. No it's bread like, and toilet paper. Yeah, what are you doing? It's like you don't have that stuff already. So, so but, but be aware of elderly folks surroundings and and, and it's speaking, getting cold again this week y'all speaking of elderly folks we're going to talk about judge harry Dawes. oh i thought I she love, was going to look at me again no, when she said I elderly i love harry i love Harry. are they back yet i love the fact that he is a military man oh i, I love, love the idea that he honors our country we know where they were on friday we know where they were and i want to say a public thank you to lynn and harry for sharing their trip to dc to oh the inauguration so very very much because i felt like i was up close and personal with them it it was awesome. It was informative. It was fun. I loved being that close to Pennsylvania Avenue. I loved everything about it. So to Lynn, thank you, thank you, thank you. She is an awesome, awesome lady that we adore. And again, thank and you, God, for not letting some catastrophic situation occur. Exactly. I have to give kudos to the people that, and uh, those are the people behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. Not the people preparing the inaugural, but I think yeah. the security people. Yeah who moved all those trucks in and kept yeah. did such a, a good job at keeping the riffraff rabble away from what was happening in our country. That was a civics lesson that can't be experienced mm -hmm. any other way. Right, right. Well, all my life we watched it on television. Every class I was ever in, whether it was U.S. history or geography Completely. or whatever, we watched it and that was part of what we were offered in school. And then we actually had a test on it. I always remember having a test on it because the teacher wants to know, are you paying attention? Are you messing around while the television is on? And I can remember the test and I can remember thinking about how important it is the process of that transfer and how it has to go smoothly and it went very smoothly and um, there are school systems glad now, everything went well. But there are school systems now that don't even teach civics. I know. Pure, or pure old Honey, American government. Look, look, see this right here? <laughs> see this right here? See that beautiful handwriting? Kids don't even get they to They don't learn even teach that. penmanship anymore. I have, I have beautiful handwriting because of my third grade teacher, Miss Jordan. I combined her technique and my mother's technique. My mother's in case I ever need to forge anything. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, y'all. But, no, but she's not. This is Miss Jordan's writing, and I am so proud of my handwriting. We I had penmanship cl I classes. I signed a check the other day at a grocery store, and the lady said, oh, my gosh, you have the most beautiful handwriting. And I said, thank you. I'm proud of it. But the kids today are not learning what you and I learned, and probably will never treasure those memories that we treasure. You know, I can remember the day I watched Miss Jordan on the chalkboard and she was doing her J, and I thought, I love the way she does that. Oh, completely. And I patterned myself completely. out of her writing. Completely. So. There are a lot of things. It's good I don't have a child in school right now because I'd probably be in jail. <laughs> she would I, be. I, I probably would be. Trust me, she would be. <laughs> well, there are kids that don't know that New Mexico is part of the United States. I know. Well, we so have to salute teachers things. today, though, because I saw oh, completely. today I was thinking about Lucy Harris and what a difference she made in every child's life that was in her class. She went above and beyond. There are so many teachers out there who go above and beyond and have to fight the system to do that. And, and, and I that's think so hard. That do. says a lot for the teachers who are going into the teaching profession today. It's not as easy as it used to be. Well, you're afraid it's to touch a easy. child's hand. Exactly. I remember exactly. I've had many a hug from a good teacher, I'm and sure. it was just a hug. I've that's a, all it I've was. I've had a pop with a, a, what do you call those things? A ruler. A ruler. Oh, my kids went, my wow. kids were in high school, and they, in, in Polk crazy. County, Polk County, Florida. And when my kids were in high school, kids could be paddled. You had to sign and a permission needed slip. To be. <laughs> needed. Mine needed to be, particularly with my we son. Need to get out of here. It's, it's time almost for us time to, leave to you go. Now. We got to leave you now where rivers, mountains, and good friends meet. And good friends meet only on ETC TV3. Join us every single day, Monday through Thursday, 11 a.m. And remember, we will re air at 6 and tonight at 5 o'clock. Here you come with trading time. We'll see you again soon. Go Falcons! Yay! Rise up! <laughs>